Guys, they said Kabiesi was so shocked to see Queen Naomi inside the palace. You know, Queen Naomi came to the palace without telling him that she was coming. It was uh, a very big surprise to him. And she, he was becoming so excited over seeing Queen Naomi when Queen Naomi told him the reason she have come to the palace. And it wasn't a good one at all. Because when Queen Naomi got an information that uh, she no longer have her privacy in Lakey Mansion, all thanks to Olori Kalabash, who have used one of the guards to plant uh, a, a camera inside that Lakey Mansion and connected it to her phone. And she is watching everything that is going on in the... Lakey Mansion. So even if Winomi is going to bat, she will be watching her. Every move that Winomi makes in her house, she will be watching watching her. You know, it is so, so, I don't even know the right word to use. It's not everybody that will take it. And I tell you, if KBS did not take this matter up, Winomi should. Because it's not funny at all. It is not funny. This is going too far. This is just going extra mile. Ibi and the rest of them cannot even do this. But Olori TikTok, Olori Kalabashi did. And they say when Kwenomi came to the palace, it wasn't funny at all. She told Kabies, you see it? Remember that when Kwenomi gave her terms and condition when, why she would return back to Kabies, uh, one of the major reasons one of the major conditions she gave was that KBS will have to do away with uh, Olori Kalabash. And that is because she knows Olori Kalabash in and out. Remember, they stayed in the palace together. And this Olori Kalabash did a whole lot to Queen Naomi. And she have not stopped dealing with her. Because tell me why she would have someone to install camera where she is not living. Just to monitor Queen Naomi's movement. And it is obvious that anything we normally discuss with KBC, she will have a record of it on his palm, on her palms. You know? So the same we normally told KBC that look, you know that the last time we normally gave that condition, KBC came to uh, Akure with uh, some of the elders, saying telling Kwenami that look, the reason why she cannot uh, do away with Tolo the Kalabash and the rest of them is because that uh, her family that they would dethrone him, they would do this, they would do that, that uh, uh, history will record it. They said there is nothing KBC did not say. Now, Penami have come to tell KBC. At this point, you have seen why. Because if things like this did not happen, KBC might not uh, understand the reason why it looks as if Penami uh, does not like Ulori Kalabash. You know, because to Penami, she will, pre she, will, she will prefer hundreds of all these other Oloris. She will live with them, no matter anything they are bringing to the table, than choosing to be with the Olori Kalabash. Because to her, that one is more deadly than any other person in that palace. Yes, and you will not blame her. She has stayed with her, even though some people are saying that, uh, no, Igbi is this, Igbi is that. Kwenami have not lived with Igbi. She cannot tell about Igbi. She cannot say this is Igbi's character and all of that. But she has lived with this uh, Olori Kalabash. So she knows her in and out. She knows what she's capable of. And let's not also forget in a hurry that Kwenomi is a prophetess. I don't know if you understand what it means to be prophetess. Prophetess are those people that have the gift to see other people's plan against others. Or what the tomorrow holds if God decides to show them. You know? So Kwinomi is a prophetess. I am sure there is something that she saw or there is something that she knows that KBSC and the rest of them do not know. And that is why she has insisted that if KBSC wants her to return back to him, uh, uh, Olori Kalabash will have to leave. That the two of them cannot coexist. It is not going to happen. But KBSC is not understanding it. KBSC is more concerned on the part of uh, her family, her family, her family. Okay. What is her family going to do or say on this issue now? Is it not enough reason for KBSC to say, this is what your daughter has done, and for that reason, 
she should go home. I'm no longer interested. Is enough reason now. It is it is a serious, tangible reason. They say Kwenami have come to the palace to come and tell Kabiye that look, it is obvious that even after seeing this, you still want to keep her. I am fine with that. The only thing I have to do is to for you to give me my freedom. And whether you like it or not, I am going to get my freedom. The second BSC was begging Queen Naomi. The second BSC hold her while she wants to leave because the moment she's uh, finished telling KBSC how she feels over the whole thing, how these people have been monitoring her, so she doesn't even have a, 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 a secret, in, a, a private life again. Who knows if they have mounted camera in Akure too? Or who knows if they have mounted camera everywhere that she goes? Because you cannot trust these people. You don't know how they operate. They said when she finished telling Kabiesi the piece of her mind, she wanted to leave. And they said Kabiesi grabbed her back, holding her, telling her to calm down. To calm down that she's, he's going to do something. Upe, he might not do anything. See Kabiesi, Kabiesi might not do anything as long as it is coming from this uh, Oluri Kalabash. Because it's obvious that Kabiesi, will I say he's afraid of the Lafogedi house? I do not know. If all the information we are gathering about these people are true, <laughs> I would say that Kabiesi is afraid of the, uh, the family where she's com she comes from. I mean, Oluri Kalabash them. But whichever be the case, Kwenami is telling Kabiesi that, look, oh, I have had enough of it. <laughs> At least this is just one. This is just a little of what you will see. And I'm not interested in continuing to be part of this family, this dramatic family. No. I can't. They say I can't. They say Kabiesi was begging her, please, Kabi Kwenami, please, please. You are the love of my life. I don't love any of these women. They are there for the throne. They are not there for me. They are not there for you, but now you they knock them, Abi. <laughs> because Kabiesi keep telling Kwenami that I don't feel anything for them. If you don't feel anything for them, why gathering them there? Even when they are destroying your own marriage with Queen Naomi. And yet you are still gathering them. And at the end you say you don't have anything. You don't feel anything for them. No, be true. Let me not say you, you are lying. But <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> yes, so it's not true. There is something that you guys know that Queen Naomi does not even know. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of explanations to make here. But in all, Kabi is to give Queen Naomi her freedom. Because... It is obvious that these people will still be monitoring Queen Naomi self, even anywhere she is. And yet she may not know. She may not know. Anyway, may God always guide and protect her. May God guide and protect Queen Naomi and Tadenikawo. That none of their evil plans against them will prosper. But the truth is that they will always be pro uh, prepared as in planning evil. This is all these Oluris, especially Oluri, Oluri Kalabash. But one day, their cup will fall, and God is going to disgrace them in a way that they will never imagine. Anyway, guys, don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow my page, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.